lot has evolved. Let's get into it and I'll update you on all of it. <laughs> Y'all, welcome back. I wanted to share some initial thoughts. I just feel kind of disconnected with y'all, with just the discrepancy between my life and of the little things that are happening and the videos that y'all see. We have a lot of topics to cover today, all concerning the evolution of my apartment in the first couple of months since moving in, just wanting to get to a place where it feels a bit more like home. If you haven't really been following my vlogs for the last couple of months, I moved into this apartment in April. And I would say for the first month, I was super focused on just getting the necessities. Then in May, I started looking for more pieces for my apartment. And with that, going to thrift stores, I went to a local one called Emma's and I found this box which is so cute. Let's look at the box. me getting so excited over a box. During this time, I kind of changed my mind on a lot of things. I deviated from this initial vision that I had about creating a minimal neutral colored space that I could not get tired of, right? Just with this long-term vision of if there aren't pieces that are too polarizing or standing out with their color or their design. I won't get tired of them and therefore I can keep all of the stuff for as long as possible, which in my opinion is the most sustainable option together with not buying actually new things, which I also did. <laughs> and once I started secondhand shopping, I realized the sadness within me that all of this vintage furniture and like these pieces from the 60s and 70s, I just found them so beautiful and I've always like, I've always had a tendency to like mid-century and mid-century modern furnitures and interiors. So that's when everything changed. I was like, I do not want to hold myself back from enjoying all of these pieces and actually implementing colors and playing around with colors. With all of these new options, I felt this wave of like, oh my gosh, I can actually like look at all of this beautiful vintage furniture. I've been talking about wanting to get a bookshelf. And so obviously you can see I have this beautiful bookshelf. It was kind of difficult to find mirrors with a wooden frame. And so I found this one and it was actually like sold in my old hometown. So I thought perfect, right? Cause I had to pick it up and like traveling around isn't free either. So that's great. I'm happy with it and I haven't hung it up yet. Okay, and then we have another factor. And that is that with me changing my interior, I just had to burp, vision, I was like, oh, we actually already own some stuff that were still in my hometown. For example, these rugs. And I'm actually getting a couple of more things that my mom is bringing over that before I thought, okay, this does not fit into my aesthetic. <laughs> and now I'm like, okay, we already have it. It's free. No one is using it. I need to get it. I learned to really appreciate what I already have instead of trying to create this new vision, clean version of my life in my mind and it feels a lot more like me.
As you all can tell, I'm working on a lot of different projects for this apartment and I don't think I would be able to keep an overview and stay in touch with my vision if it weren't for Milanote. I am thrilled to be working with, with Milanote again because it's a tool that I genuinely use to organize pretty much any creative project I have and beyond. So let, <laughs> let me tell you a bit more about them. So in the shape of these boards, Milanote gives me the space to organize and visualize the ideas that I have for my apartment. I can add photos, arrange them how I want, I can add notes and essentially create this bird's eye view of everything that is going on. And I found that for me personally, having that overview just at one glance where you can zoom in to the details and zoom out helps me so much for anything that I'm working on. Even for language learning, I create study boards on Milanote because I'm able to put all of this information together and I'm able to process it visually. One of the main uses for me is creating storyboards and planning videos in Milanote, which if I am working with someone, I can invite them into and we can collaborate in real time, which especially for projects like my Notion covers, where I worked with my sister, that was super helpful. If this excites you to organize some projects in all of these amazing ways, Milanote is available for free and with no time limit. So make sure to check it out, sign up through the link in my description and have fun. I was able to pick up these furniture pieces and I drove here with my mom. So excited with my new pieces and what they are bringing into the space. I came home with some hay fever symptoms and a sore throat. I assumed that I developed a cold. I had a range of different symptoms, but I was just not doing great. I had just actually gotten my first plants which oh, just feels so good to bring life into the apartment. But because I got sick, I like didn't have time and the supplies or energy to get the supplies to repot them. So they were just like, so I was stressing out about that as well. So getting better, I had all of this energy built up of wanting to clean my apartment and just progress, like organize my shit, repot my plants, paint my wall all of these things and it felt so good to finally get started with cleaning and moving things around uh, and that has basically been what has been happening in this last month of june it was also when i slowly started gaining back energy and clarity when i realized that i regretted the table that i bought and the the bench because it was a big part of my old vision for my apartment and because I changed my mind on everything it just did not fit into my vision long term. I decided to return it and use the furniture that I already had before when I packed, packaged up my table and sent it back. I was able to repot my plants.
speaking of the dining room, right? Something I haven't touched on, which I actually did probably back in April, was paint the wall in my dining room. I painted that with my dad back in April. It makes such a subtle but beautiful difference. I'm really happy with that paint. And so when my sister was here, I found this photo. I, I mentioned in, this in my last video of a really similar room setup and I had this like sagey grayish green on the wall and it looked so good. And having my sofa in this space really made me feel like it was drowning in white. As soon as I saw that photo, I couldn't go back to, th to accepting this wall as white. So in the wave of energy that was re-entering my bones, I was able to paint. already see the paint is drying over there is where I started over here is where I finished off hopefully um, it's going to even out my paint my roller strokes and yeah we'll see here is my wall uh, a day later so I would say pretty much that the paint has dried and this is the color overall I feel like this wall needed color and I would not go back to white at all. I think I'm like 80% happy with the color. I am going to live with it and see how it fits with my interior. So after painting the wall, I set my living room up in this layout right now. It's a vibe. It's good vibes right now. As I said, it will probably change, um, but I added this beautiful rug that we also already owned and that was just in our basement. And it complements the space so well, in my opinion, together with my Sen rug, which I put in front of my bookshelf. So yeah, I'm happy how that came out. Before we get into another spontaneous, unpredicted, change of heart. The last thing I want to do was rearrange my bookshelf. We can float along the water from the rivers to the sea and drift away with the tide. We could sweat all through the summer and the winter we could freeze. I'll be there through it all at your side. So go on, lead the way. I won't be far. To confirm how spontaneous this was, I filmed most of this on my phone, so bear with me. But since I moved this table back into uh, my dining space, my office was basically a huge bedroom with a desk in it. And so far I've just been sharing how excited I am to have such a big space for my office thinking that I want to film in it and previously it's just been such a struggle to build these sets and have all of this gear, cameras and lights in a tiny room like my last office but the bedroom was basically a sleeping closet because my bed was taking up so much space of it it felt kind of claustrophobic like it did not feel cozy as you would expect or at least it didn't for me and I was not really happy with it. Same goes for my office, like 
as I said, I wasn't using all of the space and it felt a little off to have it this way. And so while I was feeling better and regaining energy, but not really mentally, so I, it was hard for me to work <laughs> and concentrate. So I was just like, let me switch this stuff around. doing I still need to mount it to the wall but yeah that's my room so let me just give you an overview of the office right now because yeah I'm still figuring shit out we'll be out there together through the shine and through the shade through the good and the bad times too so go on, lead the way, I will be far behind hmm, Why am I doing it like this? I wholeheartedly believe it's the right decision right now. It's amazing. I love my bedroom. I think my office is great. That's like the one space there where there's still room for growth, potential for growth. And we'll work on that another time, but it's fully functional. The vibes are good. And the vibes are great in my bedroom. Lastly, you may have seen them Throughout this video, I got curtains. I got these from Ikea because I just could not get, go another day without having curtains. I'm very grateful that I do have electric blinds, but it's not a vibe. Like that is just for like the nighttime, you know, or to block out some sunlight, but Curtains add such a beautiful softness and because I, I chose like those like brownish orange curtains for my living for my dining space and it enhances it. It enhances it, so I'm happy with those. I am still working on hemming all of the curtains. Y'all can tell I am still working on things and that's exciting, but we've gotten a lot of we've gotten a lot done so far and I'm glad to have y'all up to date with everything. And I also wanted to document this for myself because as I said multiple times in this video, my space is probably going to change, my style might evolve. I really hope to be using these pieces just in different ways over the next couple of years. Maybe you got some inspiration. Thank you so much for watching this video until the end. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to check out Milanote if you want to use their boards and organize some projects, visualize ideas. It's free and it's linked down below. If you want to support me further, I have a Patreon link down below as well. I will see you around and until then, peace you.